Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, <clears throat> I wanted to do a lesson for another excellent song by the Screaming Trees called uh, Sworn and Broken. Uh, this was on the Dust album. And um, it was written, you know, sometime between 93 and 94, 95, I think, in those years. Um, and, uh, so there's a, there's a, another version of this song called the Meter 2 Sessions, and, um, in that version, Gary Lee plays a guitar solo, like with octave chords, I'm gonna go over, but for the main chords, um, the beginning of the song, you're gonna, it's gonna start with a G, he's gonna pick through the notes in the G, goes to A, back to G, A, and now um, the chords, these are the chords for the first part of the verse, it's uh, D, A, G, and then G, D, with F sharp, you know, on the bass note, second fret of low E. And um, so in the, the meter two version, uh, Josh Hami plays these um, octave chords over when, when Gary Lee's doing the... Um, over those chords, uh, he's going to be doing this little thing at the beginning. Like this D octave chord. Move up to this shape. And then. And then G, A. And now the verse starts. Intersetting it. Repeats that D A G uh, G D F sharp A, and then the second part of the verse come January G A B minor three lines of this G. start another verse so this time when the second verse starts it's gonna it's coming in a little bit heavier because the drums are in full swing uh, and the bass and everything kicks in so um, he's playing it the same way pretty much but on the on the D descend or the, the descending thing on the G chord you could do it a little differently like this uh, Start with the G like this, but then um, switch to this. This is like a power chord at the third fret. Um, the way I'm playing it is like with my pinky, just um, barring like the A and the D. This is like a power chord, regular power chord. G. Then move your first finger down to the second. While keeping your pinky there, so. go to the A, and then he's throwing in, throwing in little licks like that, and then so after the second time, it runs through the second part of the verse. It's going to go.
go into the solo, and the solo is over the first part of the verse chords. So he's doing, um, on the album version, it's Ben Montench is doing like a piano solo during this part. But in this version, uh, Gary Lee is doing like an octave chord solo, so it would be something like this. Uh, And it goes to G. And it goes back into another verse. back, you know, repeats the other part. Alright, so that's, um, hopefully that will be enough to get you uh, started with learning the song. Um, you know, I don't know why I really connect with their music. Um, they have so many good songs and, uh, you know, I don't know, I just think they're really, they're a very underappreciated band. But those that do love them, uh, <laughs> well, I, I guess I'm, I'm one of those people, so. Anyway, uh. I hope this helps you, and uh, take care.